Hey, this is Monica back with a Dr. Bernstein's diet update, both weeks five and six combined. Um, well, not so good this week or these two weeks, uh, same as the four and five. I am stuck at 201. Um, I went up to 205 the previous week because I'm supposed to have my period. Then I went back down to 201 and then I sat at 201 and then I went back to 405 and then back at 201 now uh, at the end of week five. And, you know, so I'm like really upset and I had a lot of questions to ask and uh, you know they were um, we kind of clarified something that I am really actually disturbed about um, because I've always stressed to everybody online here to ask a million questions and if they don't answer them then you know get out of that clinic and move on um, if they're you know hiding shots or what they're putting in your body or anything that any concern you might have and you know my concern is always how to play with the food as you guys know I like playing with the food recipes making my own stuff and you know how I've been always stressing those shirataki noodles and I love them so much well um, after, out of the 101 questions, which I have stressed and I have proof of on these online blogs that I've asked questions about those silly shirataki noodles, um, about what they were, they were, I was informed that they were outside your, they are your miscellaneous item, but outside, they don't actually count as a miscellaneous item. Okay. So four ounces a day you can have outside of the whole diet spectrum. Okay. Four ounces. That's it. So I was like, oh, that's great. So I started to figure out how to make that Alfredo sauce and I'm making the, you know, all these things. I liked the noodles and I was, you know, not feeling so hungry and it just didn't seem too good to be true. Um, just like when I was eating those cheese nips, if you can recall way back, if you watch my videos, remember anything, um, those cheese nips that I adored, which are allowed on the diet, I ate for seven days straight and gained five pounds with my allotted um, cheese nip allotment um, because of the fact that they were salt and they're processed. So um, it's been a roller coaster battle here uh, with figuring out the foods and what works for my body and what my body is sensitive to. Everyone's going to be different. But the fact is, you know, I've, I ate stuff on the diet. I was 100% strict and I gained weight. And I was like, okay, well, I stopped eating those. And then I lost the weight because it was water weight. So I was like, okay, great. Now they've informed me for the first time in seven months that I've been on this diet that these shirataki noodles are a part of a garnish. So I'm th I've been eating three garnishes, three miscellaneous items a day, which uh, again, they've said that, well, they're processed, so it's even bad for you that they're processed. So you shouldn't have those noodles every day. And I said, but you know what? You guys have been stressing that that was okay. So I'm really upset actually, and I'm fighting for my week six back because I've been wasting money for, a, I'm gonna I'm gonna give them that I only wasted a week, but I know for a fact that I wasted two weeks worth of money and, and injections and diet, the diet stuff. So I'm gonna fight back to get a week back of um, the diet because of the mere fact that I didn't meet my goals uh, that they set for you, and I also keep going up and down, and I'm teetering, and I'm at 201, I'm sitting there. So as you can imagine, it's pretty upsetting, especially when you've asked these questions, and uh, they've basically either don't know or they don't have the information or the information changes and they don't inform you that it's changed. You know, like, oh, we've got a new food item. They inform you that and they've, you know, posted everywhere. But if something changed about a garnish or you're not supposed to have something, that should be, you know, um, basically divulged immediately because um, I've been having these issues. So I've had to go way back and like not only do meal plans, but figure out how much processed food I can have in the week. Because you can, you know, like have two, um, two times a week, you can have the cheese or ham. That's the processed part. That's what I thought was the most, you know, processed. But I was incorrect. Um, so now I've actually had to even a lot how much of those shakes and bars you can have because if, if anyone's having a shake or a bar a day they told me that in the room just recently that that's not good either and I'm like you know what it's just like how can you keep changing your mind and, and like and then it's messing with so much money it's six hundred dollars a month so you're I you know losing two hundred bucks a week one hundred and sixty dollars and you're changing your um you know thoughts or as a staff changing their thoughts of what you can and cannot have and I'm like, well, this is incredible because I bought a lot of shakes. I bought a lot of bars. It's summer. I'm outside. Uh, make snack packs to go and things and such. But I have those bars for emergencies. And I also go to the gym and they're very good to have them after the gym. So again, I was wrong. You need to have them very little. So me personally, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. And I'm going to see next week because I'll be doing week to week this vlogs now. Um, what, what basically if it worked or not. You know, I'm basically cutting my shake slash bars 
to twice a week. That's in the seven day period. Um, and also the processed food, meaning just the cheese and um, the ham to twice a week, still twice a week. We're going to see because I don't really eat much cheese or the ham in the first place. So I just have a, a bit for taste. So I'm going to leave that as is because I wasn't eating much of that in the first place. But absolutely no crackers, no Triscuits. No little cracker, any crackers, none, because I love crackers. I, I was eating the cheese nips, I was eating the Triscuits, I was eating the Brighton crackers, uh, cheese, she had those breadsticks, none of that. Uh, I'm going to cut it out completely. The only bread that I'm going to be having um, would be a whole wheat slice of toast and those wraps, uh, the fajita wraps or whatever from those Leta Tor Tortilla factory. So that's my plan. And I'm hoping that in one week that she makes a difference. And I'm also going to be documenting everything now because I need to have, of course, proof if you're going to be fighting for your money back for Dr. Bernstein's. They're all, you know, all about legalities and everything. Um, but I am upset and I didn't have any success in basically three weeks. Uh, so I'm really, really discouraged. But you know what? I've, I've kind of figured out from all the things that they're telling you bits and pieces and how my body responds to salt and how it responds to everything else that I've made a meal plan and figured it out. Um, not particularly, hey, I'm going to be eating this and this only. It's more like, because I'm on night shifts, what proteins I'm going to allot before work, after work, what I'm going to eat, um, for dinner, what I'm going to have, you know, just so I space out the food properly because I found that was a problem um, because of how um, my internal clock has changed. So, um, saddened to say that I'm at 201, really, um, only. But I'm still plugging away. I'm, I've, you know, again, I, at least I'm smart enough to figure all these things out and make sure you stand up for yourself. It's really important um, when you figure these things out because they just can't tell you one thing one day and the next thing another day. It's inconsistent. It's not proper. Uh, it's supposed to be a professional business. So make sure that you um, acknowledge these things and make sure that you're aware of what's going on and really remember what's being told to you. So enough about the Dr. Bernstein's rant, uh, positivity back up, hopefully. So um, anyway, regardless of the fact, I'm still a size 16 in my jeans on the bottom half. Found out that I'm a size 14 on the top half because I realized my top was getting smaller. So I fit in this fantastic dress that I bought um, three years ago that I've never been able to wear after uh, the Victoria's Secret online uh, uh, online or whatever. So I bought a, a dress from there, size 14, that's looked really good. So I'm happy about that. Um, but I'm probably going to stop this one and start another blog just for today because I'm already running out of time here on YouTube and I'm going to have a few more things to say. So I will be back in just a moment.